<laughs> I think if Cap had social media, he'd be doing the same thing. Yeah. Like, he was you just, like trolling? Yeah, I love me. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> you ain't seen my Instagram. Really? Yeah, I, I'll post. I'll post something for, like to me and my friends. It's just the funniest thing, and I'll get people giving me death threats on Instagram and all sorts of bullshit. But, really? Yeah, it's funny, man. You like that? And I find it so hilarious. Really? Yeah. Why? Why? Because. I've been getting death threats, I'll say, for the last year. Death um, threats? Like, literal people Straight saying, death. they're going to come to my house with knives, they're going to throw me off buildings, they're going to push me onto the third rail. When they see me, they're going to take my paint and bounce my head off the third rail like a basketball. I've, I've got so many messages, and nothing's happened. And I've seen the people sending me these messages, and to my face, they've acted all friendly and this. And I think it's just hilarious, and... um Especially because there's a lot of fake accounts as well. Are people messaging me and I should be like, oh, ask people to go on dates with me and go for pizza and meals and just, just bullshit, innit? But um, I think it winds them up a lot more. And I think there's a lot of jealousy in it as well, as in they're trying to make me wound up by saying these things, calling me a toy and this, this and this. I don't care. I, I, I've never said I was good at graph. I don't, I don't try to be good at graph. I just try to paint as much as possible. Streetcultureteacher.com Street Culture TV Instagram UK Frontline Beatbox Created Killer Killer And we need to talk about world music and street culture Killer Killer Podcast New ones right here Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Killer inside the place Welcome Central London, as central as you need to be, choose to be, want to be, you don't want to be here. Heaven forbid, you don't want to be anywhere else, jeez. Subscribe, hit that button, you know what we're doing, you ain't doing it for our hells, we're doing it for the art, the following, the street culture. Get yourselves ready for the upcoming Hoddle Wars, it's time to graph punks up and get up with some NFT gaming. Also, big shout out to Chief Rocker Gear, from streets to stage, Chief Rocker is the streetwear of champions. If you want more of that stuff, you want to go television app, free download, iPhone, Android for all your sporting arts, all Mitch Johns and music, uh, Mini Docs, Big Docs, and that notorious podcast. We out here, and we've got a gentleman inside the place that is most definitely moving and shaking south in the building realm. How are yeah, we, man. my brother? I'm good, man. I'm good. How are you, man? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. It's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, man. And how's south at the moment? Shit, I was always, isn't it? Really? I do late like south. <laughs> Big up south all I think, day. I think south's probably the, the worst place to be in London. Yes, yeah, everything's smashed in south now. Yeah. It's like Shoreditch, the whole place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so why do you think that is? Um, I think graph's just becoming more of a, a thing again. Like, Obviously, in like the early 2000s, everything was just bad. Mm. And I think now, graph's coming more like normalised. Mm. So people are just fucking just smashing it daytime, doing whatever they need to do. Mm. And yeah. It's funny you say normalised, because I actually... Def As I was walking down uh, Deptford High Street, coming in from... Uh, yeah, coming in from New Cross, I did get like a sense like the shutters were just so well, <laughs> the graph was so well crafted. In, yeah, in a, I think, you know what I mean? I think it's just a trendy thing for that area now. Yeah. But yeah. What do you think makes it more tolerable? Is it the fact that the councils are just waiting to knock things down? I think the council has no money and they just kind of have bigger things to care about. Like, yeah. yeah. It really is a lot of things to care about. And, and, and you know what? And it's to tallies back to you know the entry hole of graph being one of criminality but, but I, I get the feeling that people often choose graph without a single thought of its criminality yeah. because there's a lot more criminal things out there well, I think when there's people running down the fucking high streets with samurai swords I think graph is like the least of their worries isn't yeah it? like I think that's, that's how it is yeah because so, <laughs> mad yeah. axeman shit yeah like, yeah man <laughs> it's like fucking Friday the 13th happening in broad daylight on yeah. Deptford High Street yeah, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. There's fucking someone painting. Obviously, the police are not going to care if someone yeah. painting a shower. But you, uh, you graph writers, you tend to see a lot of things that, because you're in the shadows, you see a lot of things that perhaps you probably wish you hadn't. Or yeah, was, you know yeah. I mean? We've, you know, I've been out, I've been out in some places and seen some just fuckeries and, you know, seen people get stabbed on bricks and high street just painting a shower. Fucking someone getting stabbed down the road and. Well, whilst you're painting, yeah, you literally, I was painting outside fucking. Brixton Station, yeah. and some guy just got stabbed in the middle of the road, and the whole road was shot off, and I couldn't get the bus home. What? Yeah, man. But even even other things like being on tracks, just seeing like dead animals, and that is just things. You know, it's it's not normal, but it's just things you don't want to be seeing. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, does it does it mess with your soul a bit? It just makes me feel like 
Oh, I wish I didn't see that. Yeah, but, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. There's a lot of that at the moment. In the city, but I do think it? I do think you get desensitized to it. Do you? But, yeah, I would say so. What, 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 so okay, give me give me an extreme case where you think you've seen it all. Um, Brixton. I've seen. I've literally been painting, and there's someone fucking doing heroin next to me. Really? Yeah, but you know, that's, I think that's just also. I think that's a big thing, and just in London in general. Yeah. With drugs, like. I think drugs have become so normal just to see people doing drugs on the high street and they're fucking... Obviously, I think... But imagine before, they'll be doing them on, like, some back road or whatever. Mm. But now, you, you walk outside Brixton Station and the first thing you're smelling is crack. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I like, totally feel that. Yeah, they're just sitting on the steps in the station smoking it. Like, no fucks given. Yeah, man. In the, yeah, in the Shit, station. In, yeah, on yeah, the yeah, platform yeah. and that. That's like, scary. Even, even before, I was on the night tube with my friend Alex and... um. There's just literally someone smoking crack on the tube on our carriage. I mean, if we just had to get off, like, we're not trying to fucking breathe that shit in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, that is so dank, isn't it? Yeah. It's just so grim. What, you, what, what, what? Loads of questions right now. I mean, look, and again, just speaking first-hand, graphite is observers. They see, yeah. they see everything, don't they? They've, they've seen... I think people have been painting them for like 20, 30 years. Some of the things they must have seen must be fucks. Like, yeah. And that's it. Do you think it leads to that kind of, to, like you say, sanitize, you know, you get yeah. so sanitized to it? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people have um, normalized doing it themselves as well. Like, oh. I've met a lot of writers that are just uh, drug addicts and doing this, this, and all these other things. And to them, it's normal. Mm -hmm. But to the, to a normal person, you would think, oh, no one's fucking smoking crack or doing heroin. Like, that's disgusting. But in Graf, so many people do it, and mm. no one seems to to care. In Graf, yeah, it's a, it's a funny thing as well. Like if you're observant to these things, whether it's Graf or other, um, you you can clock where the trap is. Yeah, you can clock where the dealing is. You can clock where who's doing what, and and it's the subtleties. Graph writers have to be so hypersensitive to everything around them. Yeah. Do you think that's Do you think that's a, a positive trait? Um. Yes, but no. I think. Um. I think with graph, it always leads to other crimes, whether that's fucking stealing or breaking it, breaking and entering, or people just straight up doing burglaries. I think. Graph, a lot of a lot of writers also do um other stuff outside of graph that's illegal and i think graph definitely did cause that to to happen perpetuate yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um even even silly little things like stealing paint is still another crime you're doing for graph mm. and me and myself i've done a few fucking oh, done a few stupid things mm. that i've done to paint a spot or you know just just normal bullshit like mm -hmm. yeah what's the craziest you thing you've done to to, to get to to a spot, what's to a spot? Yeah. Um, what lengths is it? Like hanging we've, off. A... We've robbed a building site and got fucking jackhammers <laughs> and hammer drills really? and fucking take, took down a wall. What took down a whole wall? Took like took down um a portion of the wall out like so we could slide underneath the bottom of the wall or like uh cut, yo like, yo, a yo hold on hold on wait 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 so you left the port what you so made like, a hole under down the bottom so like to get where, through where the wall is we took like eight or nine bricks out to make like a little hole so he can slide and basically go through the wall. Yeah, at this point, I might just add, do not try any of the shit we're talking about at home, okay? It's a nice little story. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's cowboys and Indians. Uh, that's actually insane. With graph, the, the, the original essence of graph has always been risk. It's been like, if you go back to like the fucking 70s in New York, it was who could get the most up in the mm. most high places or whatever, and it's all risk. And mm. I think with graph... The biggest risk is painting trains, painting tubes, painting metros. For me, I I don't not respect people that don't paint trains, but no matter who you are, where you're from, what you do, if you're painting the train, I'll have to give you some sort of respect because there's so many risks involved of fucking dying, jail time, mm -hmm. all these other things. I mean, there's an argument that not compared to the 90s, big up my 90s crew, big up the international crew as well because we know you're watching... Um, yeah, there is this um, sense that technology is like way moving fast. Yeah. Isn't it? It's crazy. Listen, let's get, but we'll come back to that later. Tell us, tell us about you. Where did it begin? Um, well, I used to skate and then, um, 
literally, I bumped into, I, I stopped skating for like two years, started skating again when I was like, what, 16? And then um, I see my friend at the skate park with this fucking 25 mil marker, <laughs> this massive thing, and I was just fascinated by it. I said, oh, what's that? And I just started writing my name and all this bullshit. <laughs> and he was like, oh, come with me, come with me. Followed him, jumped on the tram, like three, four stops, and went to Hobbycraft Pearly Way. And um, he was like, yeah, come with me, come with me, keep dogs. I, I didn't even know what that meant, innit? So I'm just standing there in the shop and I turn around and he's just filling his bag up with cans and pens and poskas. It's my friend Gilt, man. Shout out Gilt. But, um, yeah, Gilt. Right. Yeah, we was doing that. And then we left and I was like, what the fuck did you just do? Like, what the fuck was that about? And he, then he told me about Graf and I started painting with him, just literally just following him around, doing tags. And I, I was so fascinated by it. Like literally, I mean, my first week in Graf, I was watching documentaries. I was talking to so many people. And then uh, that's where it all started. And then... <laughs> It's interesting. It's interesting you say that because the, the moment you walked in the pod trap, you, the first thing you said was, "That's that a bow day? Is that original bow yeah. day?" Yeah. So you really know your shit. Yeah, I try to. I try to be educated on what I can be. Mm. Um, yeah, like I think for me, graph is a. It's been a very big part in like the last two years of my life, mm. and I love. I love everything about it. Um, I love the, the scene. I don't really like the people doing it. I think a lot of people are dickheads doing it, but. All my friends, you know, mo most of my friends are graph, do graph. Really? Like, yeah. It's just part of your yeah, lifestyle. Yeah, like it's, it's, if I, if I didn't do graph, I don't know what I'd be doing. That's how it is. Well, in a negative sense, you could be in, doing something. Bro, I'll probably just be sitting at home wanking if I didn't do graph. Like, I don't really have any other hobbies or do anything. Like, I just graph, like, it's just how it is. I think mm. it's just, I'm not going to say it, it has consumed my life, but like, I'll wake up, the first thing I do is think about graph. Mm. And it's just, just, I think it's just a big part of me now. Mm. What does your family think? My family fucking hates it. Really? Yeah. To what extent? Um, I think I'm... Big up, big up family yeah, as well. Yeah, big up mum and dad. Yeah, yeah. But um, I think I'm a bit too too honest with them. Really? Like, I'll, I'll just show them the photos and show them the madnesses and explain to them and just tell them what happened. And I won't just be like, mm. oh, you know, it's just a bit of fun. I'll tell them how it is like. Because I'm... Mm, that's an interesting take. Because some people wouldn't. Yeah, a lot, a lot of my friends they don't tell their parents like what's happening, and they yeah, were. That's they really dangerous, man. Because they like, could be anything yeah, could happen to that's, them. That's that's what I'm saying. For me, if I'm going to go paint a madness and have to do a madness, I'll tell my mom like, look, this is what's going to happen. And obviously, she doesn't, she doesn't enjoy it, but I think she respects this um what I enjoy. And mm -hmm. as much as she hates it, she can't really control it. Yeah. But she's she's tried before. Like I've came home and all my paints are under, all the paint on my bed's just gone, and mm. you know she's thrown away all my sketches and that, saying, oh, this is bullshit. You can't be doing this, but. I think that she's um, just she just kind of knows that she can't do nothing. Can't about you just it. show her the sketches? I don't know. I'm I'm a big thing about honesty because some of the spots that I'm painting and trying to paint, I I could die in it. I, I could literally just the smallest thing. I just slip over and die and hit the third rail, and I wouldn't want to not come home one night and my mum not know that's what's happened. Does that scare you? Uh, to be honest, no. Nah. I think I know the risk. I'm not. If I get arrested, I don't want to get arrested. But if I get arrested, I wouldn't paint. I know the risks involved, and I'm doing it, so I can't really cry about it if I do. Or mm. you know, a friend of mine once said, "Youth is wasted on the young," and you're you're a young man. Yeah. Um, uh, big up all my youngers out there, and in no way do I want to come across as condescending. I remember we're back in the day when I used to go out and talk. Back in the day, during the tour. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? But like, that everyone would always say to me, "Get yeah, do it while you're young." And to an extent, I kind of feel like, yeah, man, I, I did my thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, champion beatbox, I get a fucking no. But at the same time, I do feel like, well, I kind of got myself down a road I can't get out of. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm always going to be killer killer. Do you know what I mean? Which is a great thing. It's great being me. But it's definitely hard when you want to, you know, for instance, try a new career angle. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I get that. But yeah, I, I think for me... I, I, I'd rather be doing all this bullshit now than I don't want to be 35 like doing this I, I want to be having a fucking good life on a mm. good house mm. a wife kids I want to be travelling with my family once you're young and you're doing it I think that's alright because it's how it is but I think once you're at a certain age don't obviously don't stop painting but I think that you need to kind of have different priorities hmm, that's interesting no, that's, a, that's, a, that's an interesting angle so well, uh, yeah uh People's, that's that's the strange thing about graph, isn't it? People celebrate the hardcore, the people that have been doing yeah. it long enough, you know, like the kings, the, yeah. the legends. Um, are you are you saying that's still applicable? But 
but but not as a for me lifestyle. I I respect the writer that will wake up, go to work five days a week, yeah. and then paint when he can more yeah. than the writer who's out there every day, fucking stealing, doing all this to try paint a train. I think I have more respect for the person who can wake up, work, do this, and have actually have a better life than the guy who's just trapped in graph. Yeah, and I think at this point it's important to say that anybody that gets up in the morning and provides go to work and handles his business, yeah, big that up. Do you know what I mean? Because there's plenty of good reasons not to in this day and age. Um, just going back to the original conversation, man, I don't know how people survive in fucking London that don't yeah. have jobs, you know what I mean? It's, That's it's, it. It's a mad time, isn't it? Um, yeah, no, I, I, value, I value where you're coming from. Um, and I do, I like that too. I like it when people suddenly, you know, suddenly get, a wind in their sails that just takes them into a place where they get into graphic designing yeah. or get into, you know, manufacturing yeah, something like it. paint or mark, whatever, you know what I mean? That's it, man. A lot, I, I say it to all my friends, like a lot of my friends have jobs and kids and wives and I'll say to them with a joke, oh, you're being a pussy, just come out tonight, work don't matter, but I have the utmost respect for them. You know he's only saying that because the comments are going to be blowing up right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All um, his mates going, no, you treacherous motherfucker. Yeah, no, I have, I have to, honestly, I have the most utmost respect that they have the time to go to work, yeah. see their girlfriends, see their kids, paint and just do so much other stuff. And yeah. to me, I think that is the, the, the probably one of the realest writers I know that he, he comes out. I'm not going to say his name. He knows who he is. Yeah, mm. he's been, I've been out of him a lot. He goes to work every day. He works like seven days a week. I don't know how he does it. Mm. And he'll come out, he'll paint with us. He'll go see his girlfriend. He'll do this, he'll do this. I don't know how he does it, innit? But mm. yeah, man. Uh, bro, them kind of people are dangerous. They, they're champions of nature. Yeah. Like, how the fuck do you do? How do you sleep with three hours? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know, but, some Einstein shit. Yeah, know? I don't know, man. A few, a few of my friends are like that. They just fucking work, paint, mm. and then that's, they just don't sleep. But I, I used to be quite bad for it. I used to um, stay out like three, four days and just paint. Mm. Like, I would literally, I would go out, um, scope somewhere, go rack some paint, paint there, stay out all night, go calf in the morning, go out. Hit Uniqlo, get some new socks and that. Fucking just do whatever you need to do in mm. the day. Like, if you're just going to go chill, go do what you need to do. Paint. I used to be out, like, three, four days at a time. Mm. Just, yeah, just out there, like, in fucking Kent, in, like, North London, in some places I've never been before. Really? Yeah, man. Just trying to make that all city. Just not even that. I don't really paint walls or do anything. I'm just trying to... Just... I noticed that, yeah, you don't really... You, you're not visible. It's I, a funny one. Yeah, it's... do you know what it is? It's... For me, when I first started writing, someone said to me, you can paint a thousand walls and it still means less than one train. <laughs> and I've just stuck with that mindset. Like, that's that's how it is for me. Like, for me, I, I don't know. I, I just, there's no thrill for painting a wall. If if I do a wall and I get chased out, I can just go back there. I can go back there and like five years, it'll probably still be there. Mm. But if you're painting a train, that's your one chance to do it. I mean, that's a... Sentiment that's echoed through, you know, 50 plus years yeah. of, of, of graph. And, and it's one that I think uh, writers especially, but also, you know, the wider scene, street culture scene at least, um, they hold it as a badge of honour. Uh, there was something that I, 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 was talking, I can't remember, I was talking to the other day. Um, you know, heaven forbid, you know, this generation of writers yeah. suddenly... You know, everything grinds to a halt. Uh, how long do you reckon it'll take before ev everyone's history suddenly been deleted? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I've spoke to a few people about this before. Apparently, ten foot was like the most up in London. Then the Olympics happened, and he was just wiped out. Yeah, yeah. And I think, I think it happens. I think it, everyone will catch up, and that's another reason why I think I'm not going to say painting walls is pointless and doing track size is pointless. But when I'm when I'm like 40 years old and I'm showing my kids photos. You know, I think of like, yeah, this is a train I've done, this is this. I think it's a bit more like, I would, I would rather show than that than a fucking wall. Like, do, you think they'll, do you think they'll differentiate? Um, Wouldn't they see, would they not see dad in a dangerous place or, or getting to a dangerous place? Yeah, I think so, but... They probably have flying cars by then. Anyway. Yeah, but <laughs> I, think, I, I, I always feel like that. It's like, whenever I'm with my friends, we, we, don't, we don't share photos of walls and be like, yeah, this is a wall I painted. Really? There's, there's, no, there's never really a story behind it. Maybe maybe on some like London Bridge track sides having to hide from workers and that, but I think any train the story will be more uh, much better than painting the wall, and I think I I think graph on trains is the best thing that there is 
in graph as a whole. Mm. And like, yeah, I'm just a big believer in just paint trains or don't paint, to be honest. Mm -hmm. That's a lot, a lot of my friends are also the same as in, they, they will just strictly only paint tubes or only paint trains and not paint walls because it's just, just how it yeah, is. It's valued, it? man, without question. There's tiers of, you know, we got a lot of people that from all different walks of life that watch the yeah. podcast. And, and I think some of the biggest, the, the biggest misconception, I mean, the biggest, the biggest one for me <laughs> is the appropriation of graphing that, you, you know, they don't like the tagging. They don't like the tagging. Do you know thing. what? I, I, to be honest, I'm kind of the same. Really? As, um, Talk to me about that. As in, like my local area, there's some kids that have just fucking tagged all over the bus stops and that. It just pisses me off. Like, really? I just, mm. like I, I just, I don't know. I, I'm, I think it's just a, a waste. Mm. Like, I just, I hate seeing. You hate tags. I hate seeing like scratch tags on the window and mm. stuff like that. No, I don't. I, I do it myself, and it? it's hypocritical of me to say. But I, I think sometimes it's just shit. Like, I don't know. I think it's just. I think it's just well, a waste hand, of time. A hand style. Is it a hand style thing you're talking about here? Um, yes, but no, I think, I don't, I don't really know to be honest. I think sometimes I just look at graph and I think, oh, just, why did you do that to yourself? Mm. Like, you shouldn't have done it. That's interesting. You know, cause when, some, cause some writers, they'll have like a, a 10 year dec a yeah. decade of it. And all of a sudden they go off graph for a bit and they're like, oh, you know what? I, I, you know, I don't even, I don't, yeah, that's cool. I don't, I don't even see the, I'm sick yeah. of the sight of it. Do you think there is such I a think, thing? I think that's what it's like for me is, but to be honest, if it's not my mate's graph, I think it's shit. Really? Like, I'll, I'll look at some of the fucking biggest writers in London and think, oh, that is absolutely disgusting. Yeah. Then I'll look at my friend's little chrome throw up and think that's the best thing I've seen in my life. Really? But I think I'm just a very... Um, Purist. Biased, biased person. To your friends? To my friends, yeah. And, okay. Um, I'm a very... Um, if my friends don't like someone, I'll definitely not like them as well, as well, as in... Really? Yeah, there's a few, there's a few um, writers we have... Uh, not problems with, but like... We we disagree to agree on a lot of things. Okay, is this based on on your core principles of graph or just them as people? Both. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never never meet your heroes, kind of thing. Oh, mate, oh, chair. Don't don't meet your heroes in graph. It's really? honestly the I think that is the worst thing you can do. See, I'm a happy camper. I mean, <laughs> I'm, 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 I mean, I just you know. I think <laughs> some of I've I, I like to say I've met some of the biggest writers in London, and um, I think a few of them have been all right, but I think yeah. they all have the same. Um, kind of closed mindset and I'm, I'm I'm the worst for it but I think a lot of London writers only respect London Graph and they, they won't leave London they'll only paint London fucking hell so that, he's got, you know what I mean <laughs> that is fucking rapid response unit yeah so your friend's calling you up trying to get that shout out <laughs> yeah that's it um Bob, uh interesting you say that um because there was a time in Graph you'll, you'll you'll no doubt remember this at a time of uh of uh, being young and seeing, you know, track size and all yeah. that, you know, the, the heavy uh, chrome of of London and the, the chisel diamond cut yeah. look that we all fucking love. Are you suggesting? Are you suggesting that that ha needs to move on? It doesn't need to move on. I feel, I feel like it needs to be more. Um, I feel like a lot of London writers. Older London writers, they need to kind Older of, London writers. They need to kind of accept that there's um that their era is finished now. And what they they need to diversify they, a bit more. Yeah, they need to diversify. They need to kind of accept that like stuff changes. Mm, okay. Because I feel like a lot of people have been doing the same thing for like twenty years, and then that's that was it. And then now it's obviously the new schools come through, and they still expect the same kind of stuff mm. from their generation and. Yeah. So what you're in for, and by the way, like, there's some awesome, but do you, do you, um, oh, we'll get into the thing, sorry, mate's going off. Do, do you, um, do you appreciate, uh, writers when they don't do the stamp thing and they keep on developing more of a, uh, a, 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 a style, like a wild style, like develop their letters? You yeah, like I think, I think, um. European style almost? Yeah. Oh, I don't really Ooh. like that Euro style Ooh, stuff. Yeah, no, you I said Euro that's, style. That's a bit much, but I think. Okay. A lot of people do the same, same outlines, same fills, same yeah. letters, and I think they need to diversify more. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I, I I think it's just a it's just a thing. Obviously, everyone has their own style, and it's hard to change that. But I think they need to be more accepting of newer stuff. Yeah. yeah. Do you really think there's a resistance to that? Then I I I think I've experienced it firsthand. As in, I've had 
older writers kind of tell me what I can and can't do because it's like the the rules of graph. And I'm a very big believer in graph has no rules. If you want to paint the same spot 100 times in a week, you just do it. I think if you let another writer tell you, oh, you can't paint here, you can't do this, I think you're just kind of a pussy. Like, I think graph is what you want it to be. And if, if, if you want to paint the same backdrop, the same wall over and over again, that's also like you being a real writer, I would say, just because you don't let no one tell you what to do mm. and you just make it how it is. Like, there's there's no rules in graph. Where's this, where, Ron, where's this fearless, like, outspoken mentality that you have come from? Um, because it, 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 it's confident as fuck. And I'm all about that. Like, I rate it. I think, um, I, I don't know. I just, I just speak what's on my mind. Like, yeah. But you know, that's that's rare. You know. Yeah, I guess so. It but is it, rare. it gets me into it gets <laughs> it does get me into a lot of trouble with a lot of people. Some of the things I say, but I think it's just how it is, and mm. I think if people don't like it, they just shouldn't listen. So you have it. Um, um. So who who did influence you? Give me some names that you were like fucking yeah, I rate them. So when I first got into graph. Obviously, Guilt was my one of my biggest influences because mm-hmm. it was the only graph I saw mm. for a while. And then, obviously, Nosy, big mm-hmm. influence. Mm-hmm. Level, mm-hmm. big influence. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the D13 writers mm-hmm. like Cass, okay. Repo, Slack. They had a uh, Jet 97. Yeah, 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 they yeah. had a massive influence on Man, me. These are some they, they, weight, they, weighty, weighty people. Yeah, I would, if, I, I would say if I didn't meet them or... Uh, paint with them I'll definitely be on a different uh, path of graph and it's even, amazing what you pick up in it what yeah, yeah, yeah. it's crazy even even Prince uh, he's had a big influence on my graph me and him have painted a lot together mm-hmm. yeah, there's a few there's a few people that have um, I would say inspired me mm. but yeah what about people that what about people that you would say oh man like I mean, especially from America the American side I guess you know, people from the old school. Um, I really like Cap. Mm. I think old school Cap. Yeah, Cap. I think I watched a few things on him, and I think him even just shooting that geese with a shotgun is just nuts. Like, <laughs> and him just taking everyone out. And I think, I think if I went insane like him, I think I'll just start taking everyone out. Mm. And I think that's. I think to me that's just funny. Like. I'm, I like to say I'm a very big troll, especially on my Instagram and on social media. I just love winding people up. And I think that's just, I think if Cap had social media, he'd be doing the same thing. Uh, like, he was you just, like trolling? Yeah, I love me. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> you ain't seen my Instagram. Really? Yeah. I, I'll post, I'll post something. For, like, to me and my friends, it's just the funniest thing. And I'll get people giving me death threats on Instagram and all sorts of bullshit. But, really? Yeah, it's funny, man. You like that? And I find it so hilarious. Really? Yeah. Why? Why? Because... I've been getting death threats, I'll say, for the last year. Death um, threats? Like, literal Straight people saying, they're going to come to my house with knives, they're going to throw me off buildings, they're going to push me onto the third rail. When they see me, they're going to take my paint and bounce my head off the third rail like a basketball. I've, I've got so many messages, and nothing's happened. And I've seen the people sending me these messages, and to my face, they've acted all friendly and this. And I think it's just hilarious, and um, especially because there's a lot of fake accounts as well. Are people messaging me and I should be like, oh, ask people to go on dates with me and go for pizza and meals and just, just bullshit, innit? But um, I think it winds them up a lot more. And I think there's a lot of jealousy in it as well, as in they're trying to make me wound up by saying these things, calling me a toy and this, this and this. I don't care. I, I, I've never said I was good at graph. I don't, I don't try to be good at graph. I just try to paint as much as possible. Hmm. But... I think they, they just get wound up that the things they're saying to me doesn't, like, insult me or doesn't bother me. What's the, ex- what's the extremity of, like, the, the, the trolling? Like, do you, do you, what, you threaten their families and shit? Or is just, like, bait kind of funny oh, oh, jokes? They, they, they'll, they'll message me, like, oh, I'm going to... I'm gonna They'll come. message you aggressively, but you'll... They'll mess- message me, like, I'm going to come to your mum's house and do this. And I'll be like, yeah, come at 2 o'clock. I'll, I'll make her to cook us dinner and that. And I think they just get wound up by how unserious I am. Really? Yeah, it's, it's quite hilarious, actually. No, after a while, you know... I oh, after, so. after a while. At first, I was a bit... I, I wouldn't say I was shook, but I was a bit like, oh, it's a bit weird. But now I've just kind of accepted it as as how it is. And I hate to sound, like, egotistical, but when, when you're doing a lot, there's a lot of people that will be um, not jealous, but against you, in a way. Right. And... Um, Can't please everyone all the time. The only thing I will say about the trolling thing is that, you know, man, I just, that just sounds so heavy on the head. 
Do you know what I mean? It's just like, it's such a lot of work, isn't it? Yeah, but for me, I do graph for fun. Do you think it's part of the graph thing now? I think, I think, if I imagine even back in the day before Instagram and stuff, oh, yeah, yeah. people would be like, oh, I'm going to rob you when I see you oh, and all a bunch, this. Yeah, I, mean, I you, think, I think it's nothing's really changed, yeah. but. I mean, just, check out 500 episodes, they're telling yeah, the stories. That's it. Woo, you know. But, yeah, I think, yeah, I've, I've 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 wound loads of people up. And I, I enjoy it, innit? It's yeah. it's just it's just a part of who I am, I think. I'm a very big wind up. Even even my friends, I'll wind them up all the time. It sounds like you're all just going at it together, to be honest. I feel like I'm yeah. late to the party. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I think... want to be trolled, but oh this <laughs> Yeah, like I I, I I wind everyone up. Like uh, even my friends are And wind they them wind up. you up and it's all just yeah. one big banter. Yeah, it's just one thing. And... One big troll orgy. Yeah, like, yeah, literally. <laughs> But, yeah, favorite paint? Give me some favorite. Like, you know, if you're going um, racking, what, what's the? I'm what's, going racking. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you must have tons of racking stories. Yeah, right? I've I've been in shops. I've I've <laughs> I was racking in Wicks one time. This was my first painting, and um, I've ballsed off a couple of tins, and I've seen the security looking at me. I'm gonna walk out, and he's grabbed uh, me and my friend. Oh, I'm not gonna say his name actually. He's dragged dragged us into the back room, uh. and he he knows we've balled the tin off, and we're trying to like, and he just the security's gone to us. He's gone up, oh, pull your trousers down. I'm like, I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. And the security guard was just shouting at us to pull our trousers down. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to fucking pull my trousers down in your shop. Like, I mean, he said to us, like, um, oh, if it's worth over 60 pounds, I'm calling the police. And he, t- he took all the paint off us and it, it, it counted up to like 58 pounds, 85 or something. And it was like, fucking <laughs> Yeah, hell, apparently yeah. there is that thing, isn't there? Yeah. That, yeah but yeah, I've, for like, a year and uh, to be fair, only like six months ago, I started buying paint. Yeah. Before that, I was just strictly stopped. Oh, more like a year ago now. What made you switch? Just for convenience. Do you know what? I went to go paint with my friends, and they all had loops and Astro. I didn't even know what Astro Cap was, and mm. they was telling me these things. And I came there like some Rustos, or some Wilco paint, and fucking, I don't know, some, like Craig mm. and Rose or whatever. Mm. And these are just laughing at me for stolen paint. Big like, like the Craig and Rose. Yeah. If you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These are these are like, these are like what the fuck are you doing with that? I'm like, what do you mean? It's paint. They're like, no, you can't use that here. And then um, my friend gave me some loops. And then from then, it's just been really? strictly loop, yeah. Isn't that weird that you didn't, you know, you weren't just weren't familiar. This, you right. were just so for, rago. You for were... me, because I was, I, I, I was, I was still quite young when I started graphing. I wasn't mm. really working. So I'd only really had options of rack paint. And I was, I was racking like 100 cans a day. I've got photos and photos of me. With like, I, I walked into a shop before with a suitcase. Mm. And I literally just filled up a suitcase and walked out. Uh, I went to Reading before and I've got I got like 88 tins in a day and done all this other bullshit. And it's, for me, it was so normalized just to use stolen paint. Uh-huh. And then when when I made the switch to loop, it was like, I can't go back now. Really? And now I really can't use stolen paint. Like at this point, don't try to say, I have any things to yeah, talk about. Thank yeah. you very much. You know what I mean? Like, you know, be upstanding members of citizens and community. Like, <laughs> bullshit. Uh, um, if, just going back to the, 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 the wall thing. Yeah. So, but, do you not get like an itch, like, all right, you've just discovered loop. Whoa, four wheel drive, let's go. You know, chuck an Astro cap on. Like, do, do you not get the, an extended itch to want to paint anything else other than the, the mediums you, you, you prefer? No. But not I, at all. If I'm sitting at home and I think I want to go paint, I'll go find somewhere where I can paint what I want to paint, which is obviously, you know. And I, I don't, I've tried, I've painted like the, the wall in my house and stuff and I just don't find no thrill out of it. Really? Like I can't just sit there and paint. I like, I like to paint really fast. I paint, I, I paint really messy. I'm, I'm not good at graph. Hmm. Like my graph looks terrible and I've, I've, you know, I've accepted, I've tried to be good. I've tried to sketch. I've tried to do all these things, but I think for me, I'm a very big um, quantity person. Hmm. As in, I'll Going just, back to cap, you know? Yeah. I'll just do as much as I can and... Hmm. Just try to get as many, you know, runners as I can at once. Do, do you are you inspired to progress that theory, or or I, do you feel like there is a there is a harmony between you know style proficient, wild style, you know, top the to bottom bangers and and the more robust yeah, hardcore? I think, I think there's a you know there's a big difference between someone spending an hour painting and doing a crazy wild style of like eight different colors and all this. But for me, again... What about on a panel though? Yeah, same thing on a panel. But for me, I don't enjoy doing them crazy wild styles and loads of colors. Why does it just fuck with you? It just, I just, I just get bored. Really? I get really bored doing it. So I just try to paint as big as I can and as fast as I can. Yeah. And that's it. Like, that's what I do. Dude, it's been the most interesting conversation. Like, I, I... I'm just completely charmed at the fact that you're, you you're, you just operate the way you do. 
And yeah, it, I think. You know what I mean? I think I'm a very. Uh, I see. I do it a lot differently to a lot of other people. Is and I've I've literally been painting at spots before. My friend's gone like, you need to do this. I like, need to fill it in properly. Mm. I've just gone to my. I don't care. Like I'm you know, doing it. It's just no. Yeah, I just do it. I think. I just love to paint massive and fast. I think that's. I'm a very um, adrenaline junkie kind of person. Mm. As in, I like to do a lot of um, a lot of things people don't do or won't do. And yeah, I think that's also plays into it. It's just, and I get bored very easily. As in, I've literally been painting before, mm. halfway finished, I'm, like, I'm bored now, I'm just left. Really? Yeah, literally. Is that ADHD? I, I think it is. Um, ADHD does play a massive part into it, but I've literally been painting at spots before. Did like three lines and just sat down and went on my phone and watched my friends finish painting. Really? So I just got so bored. Yeah. Yeah, you get bored. Yeah, and I think I'm, I'm really bipolar when it comes to graph as well, as in, I'll I'll message all my friends one day, like yeah, I'm retiring. I don't want to graph anymore. Really? I mean, like three hours later, I'm like yeah, let's go paint. Really? I think yeah. Does that happen a lot? Happen oh, every day. So you okay? So there's <laughs> there's the first tick of bipolar right there. So you you go to the spot and then what you do like one letter. And I'll do like, like one letter and I'll be like, oh, do you know what? I just really can't be bothered. Like I wish I was in bed right now. Really? I'll just sit down and be like, oh yeah, that's it. Like, what would you do if you weren't graphing? Though? Just sitting in bed doing it on my really? phone. Yeah, like. Then you want to do anything else? No, I, I, obviously I work and stuff. I know you listen, and I'm not putting you into yeah, a corner yeah, here yeah, to yeah. asking these questions to make it, you know. No, no, I'm genuinely curious honestly, to know. Honestly, outside of graph, I don't really have any other hobbies. Like, I don't really do much other than graph. So I'll, I'll go work, graph, go home. Well, I'll play I'll play on my Xbox and that. And all your boys, is exactly the same. Just... No, to be honest, I've only got like two friends outside of graph. Okay. But it's like, I, I'm obviously my, my best mate at the time. Was 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 a normal friend, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. We use the word normal, but <laughs> civilian. Yeah, yeah. And then he was the one who introduced me to graph. So right. then, all from then, all my friends were just writers. Huh. So literally, everyone I speak to is just graph, 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 graph. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And obviously, I have I have my close friends that I paint with that we do normal things like go for mills and cinema mm-hmm. and stuff. But even then, they're still I still consider them graph friends. I met them through graph, mm. and yeah, it's just um, yeah, it's just how it is. Did, can, can you have? Can can they live harmoniously like your non graph friends and your graph friends? I, I don't think I would ever introduce my normal friends to my graph friends. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's happening. But you got both sides. Yeah, it's definitely yeah, personal. Yeah. But why is that? It's just a two sided life. I think like if I if I tried to, I've tried to explain to some of my normal friends like what graph is and why we do it. Yeah. And they're just like, Do you make any money from it? I'm like, no. But like, do, do you enjoy it? I'm like, sometimes. Mm. And they're like, Why'd you do it then? I don't, I don't just do it like mm, mm. there's there's no reason to, to be honest it sounds silly but there's no reason for anyone to be doing graph really it's yeah. just a bit of fun it's just it's just the same as like you know it's just, do you think the attitude's change right because we're in 2023 yeah moving on to 2024 25 whenever you're watching this but there is a stark difference between what used to go on in the 90s to now I'm not saying that there aren't any comparables out there and people still go do that do the hardcore but what we're talking about here is 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 a different mindset isn't it yeah it's, a, it's like a shift for me i think graph is nowhere near as hardcore as it used to be as in i'm i'm still quite new to graph i've only been painting for a few years and how do you feel when how do, how do you think people feel when you you're so outspoken and and have not written for so long um i think a lot of people are um not upset but um annoyed that I've kind of came out of nowhere and done all of these things that a lot of people wasn't able to do. I just kind of came out of the blue and done it. And even even my friends have said this to me before that it's um kind of upset them as well. They've been painting for like ten years, and in my first like six months of painting, I was painting some of the craziest spots in London. <laughs> and but I think that also just comes down to as as it sounds it's, as silly as it sounds. I think graph the whole thing is just don't be a pussy and just do it, like. I hate to say what is the worst that can happen because obviously you can die, go arrested. But if you if you really want to paint these hardcore spots and do these hardcore missions, you would just do them. There's certainly a case, right, that it doesn't matter what people think the influence comes from, doesn't matter what anyone says to that one single person, if they want to do what they want to do, they're fucking yeah, going to do it. exactly that. Like, you're not, you're not going to stop them. Like, and that's the, that's the curious thing about graph at its core you'll never get into the understanding of someone exactly that and I think the only people trying to stop graph is obviously transport police and you know TFL and whatnot. and they've they, for years they've been putting new sensors new cameras 
bigger walls, bigger fences, razor wire, rattlers on the fences. And as, you know, after all these years, after like 40 years of graphic London, yeah. the same things are still getting done. It doesn't make a difference. If someone wants to do it, someone will cut that fence, someone will break that wall down, yeah. someone will smash the sensor off, someone will lock the SG in his hut and just paint in front of him. Yeah. You know, people will always find a way to paint a spot, no matter how impossible it gets. There's some spots that people have told me are just straight up impossible. Been there for hours, angle grinding the roof off the spot, doing doing craziness with ropes and ladders and jumping across buildings, really? carjacks and jackhammers and crowbars trying to get in. And that's an assortment. That's like... I think it always will be possible to paint, no matter what what people say. No matter how many sensors, how many cameras, yeah. how, how many they they can have a hundred security guards, and someone will find a way to paint. And I think that will always be a possibility. Man, that's fucking nuts. That's fucking nuts. Is it, <laughs> let me think about that. So, all of that, doing all of that, to, you know, we're talking about, like you're saying, all these different obstacles, and by any means necessary, it's going to happen. I think if if someone wants to paint there, yeah. if you want to do it bad enough, you will do it. They'll, they'll, nothing will stop you. And I've, I think I've had that firsthand. We've been out for like, 18 hours yeah. in a bush watching one train sitting there with a bag of tools and we had to cut fences, been cutting for hours. Like our hands have got blisters and they're bleeding. We've been trying to cut this fence for so long. And we've, you know, it's, as silly as it sounds, we've all done it for what? A photo and a bit of adrenaline. No, not all of us have done it, my friend. I'm yeah, just thinking, yeah, but, what the fuck? Like, but we've, we've put in... Um, I've never heard that sp spell out to me so graphically. But, but we've, we've put in so much effort for like, 10 minutes of fun yeah. like, that's, that's how I see it but yeah man 10 minutes of fun blood sweat tears blood sweat tears ev everything you can think of we've I'll, I'm not gonna say we've done it but we've done a lot of stuff but doesn't that like doesn't that burn you Did it does I think now I'm really burnt out and I think I've over oversaturated everything in yourself in myself as in now I have I think before, if you met me a year ago, mm. I think I was probably the most motivated person in London. I would be out there every day. I would, I would sleep on the train. I would go to the gym and shower, go rack paint. I would mm. paint. I'd be, uh, every day I was out there. But now it's kind of, it's starting to feel more like a chore. Brother, I mean, you know, if you were to have been a guest on the show a year ago, we'd probably be on the same path yeah. of energy. I think, this year especially, that the, the the way you gotta level up and push yourself, but I ain't gonna lie, it's fucking hard work. Mate. It's not fucking easy, and the, the 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 easier I make it look, the harder it actually yeah. is. So it's not it's not plain sailing. So I feel you, like you could really you can burn your fucking self out. Yeah, I think now I'm really burnt out, but I'm still still out there most nights doing it. But but why why do in our professions why do we do that? I, can't, I couldn't tell you there's, we doing? it's just the feeling <laughs> like it's when I paint or when I go out it, but to be honest even now I'll go to spots and not paint and just enjoy being there uh, and I've, I've, I've always been like that but I think it's you just, like the environment yeah 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 okay. I, def, I, like I know right I like that as well yeah. but it's also it's, I think it's like I don't know why it's just a feeling you get from nothing else mm. like you know you, you could win a million pounds and it still won't feel as good as painting something and especially when you're painting these spots, you need to put 20, 30 hours into getting into and you actually paint it. Even, even if it's for five minutes and you look at your photo, you've realized that like all that effort you and your friends have put in planning it, scoping it, actually doing it and looking at your photo, you feel, you feel satisfied. Mm. And as much, as much as I hate to say it, and I don't, I don't like to advocate it, but I think graph is the, it is the biggest waste of time I think you can do but I think it gives you something nothing else can give you. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's either a good thing or a bad thing, but yeah. Wow, oh, it's, it's so true. <laughs> but it is, but then I love it. We love it. It's a, it's a constant in our lives. And whether the higher powers want to admit it or not, the truth is, is that it's controlled the the, the, the wider marketing spend of huge brands over the decades. The appropriation of Old Street alone is like it's a tourist yeah. spot. You're telling me it's not... Do you know what I mean? Like, 
that's just, it. I just urge everybody just to fucking look after your shit, whatever it is you're doing, and don't fucking get yourself into any sort of pickles. Too many people are passing away um, in general. Like, you don't need to be one of them. and Just be fucking careful whatever it is you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, we had um, a friend recently pass away painting a spot, and um, it, it was so unexpected of him because it, it, it sounds horrible. He was a clumsy guy, but so many people were doing this spot. Like, it was getting done every day. People were spending hours down there, and um, my mate went there and slipped and died on the third rail. And that 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 was that was still quite recent, and that kind of definitely woke me up. Did to, it? Yeah, because you could ask people. I was doing some of the craziest things, like running down tunnels in service to go to spots that people won't be going to or doing it at certain hours. And after hearing about our friend dying on the tracks, it kind of woke us all up to like how serious this actually is because we, we went like 30, 40 missions on a row, no problems, everything went so smooth, was painting every night, just chilling. Then that happened and then um we kind of then, then everything kind of was like, oh wow, we actually do need to take it like a step back now. I mean, what, what do you want us to say? Like shit's real, so rest in peace and fuck man, like, it was it was a good friend of mine, young guy as well, mm. just a few years older than me. He was 22, 21. Mm. And um, yeah, he passed away doing what he loved. But it's a shame. Yeah, I hope those... Uh, yeah, I, I hope that echoes at home. Yeah. The severity of this shit. So as much as I joke about it and do all these... and say all these crazy things and do these crazy things, it is... It is serious. Like, no one wants to go to jail. No one wants to die. No. And this is another thing of graph. But. Yeah, and I, you know. And I, I wouldn't just don't do anything. No, I can't say that. Don't do anything you don't feel comfortable doing because also the same thing is I've been at spots and my friends like climb up this ladder. I'm like, oh, just don't be a pussy, just do it, like you know. Mm. And he's slipped and fallen. And I think a lot of people, when they're with a group of people, they're scared to kind of voice out to voice out and be like, yeah. oh, I don't want to do this. Yeah. And we've we've had friends hurt themselves because we've kind of urged them to do it. Yeah. So I'm also a big believer in if you don't feel comfortable doing it, just just sit out. Yeah, it, you know, it, your friends might be annoyed at you for not painting, but at least you're not hurt, and at least you have your life still. Yeah. And yeah. That's one hell of a Jerry Springer sign off. So you get it there. You heard it first, all right? You know what I mean, just fucking look after your shit and uh, yeah, don't do real. things you don't want to, or need to be doing. And um, what's the future, my brother? What's that? Sorry. What's the future? The future. Um. Just gonna keep doing my thing in it, and then just keep painting, keep chilling with my friends, just doing doing my boys. Enjoy life. Done. Enjoy life. Yeah. Enjoy life. Got you, my brother. Well. Yeah, man. Great hanging. Yeah, it was good, man. That was a fucking great chat. Kill the podcast out like it was out of fashion. Told you, get raw. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, it's a new thing I'm saying. All right. Crime don't pay. Neither do they. All right. <laughs> don't talk to anyone. I wouldn't. All right. You stay lucky, people. Nice one, Ralph. Nice one. Peace.